In this video, we're going to discuss IPv6 access control lists or IPv6 ACLs. Now, in the same way as with IPv4, IPv6 access control lists allow you to permit or deny traffic in your network and are a component of a layered security model. Warning, security breach, scanning. In the real world, you don't necessarily just want to use access control lists for your security. You want to implement firewalls and other mechanisms such as intrusion prevention systems or IPSs. But access lists are typically a first line of defense in security implementations. Now, IPv6 access lists share many of the same characteristics of IPv4. So the knowledge that you've gained when working with IPv4 access lists can also be applied to IPv6 access lists. So they're very similar, but there are differences between the two that you need to be aware of. In this topology, I've got three Cisco IOS V routers running in GNS3. The routers are configured per the topology diagram. Notice as an example that router one on the left is able to ping the loopback of router three. So we could ping the loopback directly like that, or we could specify a source address being the loopback of router one. So router one can ping the loopback of router three directly using the gigabit zero zero interface or using the loopback as the source of the traffic. So on router two, conf t, IPv6, and there's a lot of options here, but we'll specify access list. And let's call this access list one and press enter. Question mark shows us that we can permit or deny traffic as an example. So I'm gonna permit a source network of 2001 colon one, colon, colon, slash 64, going anywhere. So in other words, we're gonna permit all traffic on this network, but that doesn't include the loopback of router one. I'll go into gigabit zero zero and type IPv6, and again, we have a lot of options, but in this case, we're gonna use a traffic filter of ACL one inbound. So previously, we were able to ping the loopback of router three from the loopback of router one, as well as using the gigabit zero zero interface. So pinging the loopback of router three works, but when we specify the loopback as the source, the ping doesn't work. We've got a zero success rate, whereas this way we've got a 100% success rate. So the access list is definitely working. So show IPv6 access list shows us our access list. We can see that there are 11 matches. So ping that again. We don't see any matches on this line. The implicit deny is dropping the traffic. If we ping this way, we see the additional matches because the source traffic here is coming from 2001 colon one, and that's what we're matching in this access list. Show IPv6 interface, gigabit zero zero, shows us information such as the link local address, global unicast address, multicast groups that have been joined. But notice here, inbound access list is access list one, or ACL one. So we can see the access list bound on that interface. So that was a simple example of an IP version six access list, permitting and denying traffic. That's an example of a standard access list. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.